For a vast majority of people, only the number in the year and their age actually changes every new year because they have lived the same exact year over and over again. If you want your 2023 to look different from 2022 and the years before, here are four simple habits you must practice in private that will literally change your life. The fourth is so important, so listen to the end of this video so you will not miss out any of those points. Welcome to Inspirations by Ense. On this channel, we bring you quality content on personal development, mindset, spirituality, and entertainment. Take a second, introduce yourself in the comment section. We always want to know those who are in our community every single week and if you haven't already go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss out on any of the juicy content coming your way here are the four simple habits to practice habit number one have a bad ass morning routine everyone talks about the morning routine but how many people actually follow and maintain and even dare to upgrade their morning routine. What is or what constitutes a badass morning routine? It's a morning routine that puts you first. Yes, you heard me right. Puts you on the top of the list. If you wake up 10 minutes before you leave to work, guess what you prioritize? You prioritize the traffic, you prioritize your coffee and your work before yourself. And guess who needs to be in top tip performance to win the day it's you so who is the best person to be made priority than you your morning routine must ensure that you do the things that puts you first you have the highest energy in the morning so give yourself what you need first before you give to others the second habit is be evergreen to so be open and willing to always learn something new and what's the quickest way to do that is by reading. I read somewhere that 88% of the world's wealthiest read at least 30 minutes a day. You may say, I don't have the time to read. If you don't have the time to read, you can listen. There are so many audiobooks available right now that you can just plug in and listen on the go. They also listen to motivational messages. Another interesting statistic was that 63% of the world's wealthiest actually listen to something motivational on the go. And only 5% of the poor do this. To actually win, be open and willing to learn something new. The third habit is to constantly expand your comfort zone by learning from those who are doing more than you are doing right now, who have what you want right now, and who are crushing it in the areas that you are desiring to do so. Don't be intimidated by those doing more than you. Rather, be inspired by them. Let them inspire you to be more. Get around them. How? You can read their books, listen to the podcast, buy their courses, or attend the seminars. The important thing is, the more you expand your comfort zone, the more you grow. The more you stay within your comfort zone, the more you will not grow, rather you begin to shrink. The fourth habit, and this is so important, is to use a planner. Plan your life. Benjamin Franklin said it the best way. Failing to plan means planning to fail. Plan your days, plan your mornings, plan your afternoons, plan your evenings, plan your week, plan your month, plan your year, plan your life. Do not find yourself in 2023 stumbling into your day rather than planning your day and ensuring that your day turns out the way you desire. Get a planner and write. Write down what you want to accomplish today. And as you go on the day and take off the things, the little things that you've accomplished, you have a sense of joy, a sense of gratitude. You feel a sense of accomplishment and you are able to do more. 
I always want to know which of those points resonated with you. Leave me a comment and let me know which of these hit the spot and what are the things you're doing in 2023 to ensure that you win this year. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and share this content with all your friends and family. Those who you know will be blessed of it. As usual, I am committed to bringing you quality content three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Until we see you again, goodbye and God bless.